Let us look at another interesting concept, FDD and TDD. FDD is frequency division duplex and TDD is time division duplex. In time division duplex, the uplink and downlink transmissions are time multiplexed into the same carrier in contrast to frequency division duplex where uplink and downlink transmissions occur in different frequency bands separated by a duplex frequency. In FDD, uplink is in a different frequency and downlink is in a different frequency. In time division duplex, the uplink is in separate time slot and downlink is in separate time slot but the frequency is same. The figure illustrates the principles of TDD and FDD clearly. Examples of second generation TDD system are digital European cordless systems DECT, personal handy phone system PHS and CT2. These systems are intended for low tier radio environment mainly for indoor operation. A common feature of second generation TDD systems have not gained as much market support as the second generation FDD technologies. For example, FDD is being used widely in GSM, CDMA IS-95, PDC, US TDMA and so on. The main reason for this seems to be the limited mobility and coverage which is provided by TDD systems. That appears to be the limitation at this point of time. So let us look at frequency division duplex in this slide. Let's compare TDD and FDD in these two figures. TDD system, it has only one frequency carrier for both uplink and downlink. In TDD, the uplink and downlink transmissions are time multiplexed into the same carrier. Uplink is transmitted for a specified duration and the downlink is transmitted for another specified duration never clashing with each other. The main benefit that since the terminal is not transmitting or receiving simultaneously, only one synthesizer is needed and a simple inexpensive duplex filter is deployed. This is in contrast to frequency division duplex where uplink and downlink transmissions occur at two different carrier frequencies usually separated by a fixed interval. In GSM, the separation is 45 MHz. The figures illustrate the principles of TDD and FDD clearly. In FDD systems, duplexers are required at both the transmitter and the receiver ends due to simultaneous operation of both uplink and downlink. Duplex filter prevents TX signal leaking into the RX side. So how do we compare FDD and TDD? In FDD, synthesizers on both the transmitter and receiver side are required due to simultaneous operation. A duplex filter must be applied to prevent TS signal leaking into the RX side. In TDD on the other hand, the main benefit is that terminal is not transmitting and receiving simultaneously and hence only one synthesizer and no expensive duplexer filter is required.